All right, we'll let this dry good. Uh, straight edge here. All right. Now you can see where it's scored, and you can tell which is the inside and which is the outside because this is where the buttresses will go. So you want to make sure you fold to the inside, and I'm just going to simply let me use the lid like this, lay it up against that. That's your line, and kind of fold it up like that. Walk down the walk down there, basically. Get lined up. And you can look and double check and see that it's folding right on the outside, which it should be. This one should fold pretty easy. This is where you connected the two. Already good and bent. With the doubling up of the cardstock, makes it really good and stiff. So you don't have to worry about it being flimsy. It will not be flimsy. Good and stiff. Alright, there we go. We got that all done. So now we got to take and uh, press this together. Now I didn't bend this edge yet because I, I want to be able to flatten it and push hard on it from the inside. So let's go ahead and put our glue in here. Get our slid up together there. Lay it down, push down on it, put a, quite a bit of pressure on it. Can I get it? I'm going to let that sit for just a second or two. And if you want, you can go ahead and bend it a little because that it's already trying to form that shape anyway. Um, go ahead and. Alright, we've got that done. Go ahead and. Fold your floor pieces in. This is what uh, your floor will attach to. Okay. Now then. Now we're going to glue the floor. What you're going to do, you can see the tabs in here with the little glue on them. Uh, so we're going to take and put some glue on these tabs. You don't want to put too much because you don't want it running out when you press down in there and getting on your board but enough that it will hold the, the floor in place okay now and you know it depends on how you want to do it where you want to put your your trap door if it, if it even matters to you and it doesn't matter to me at this point I'm going to slide it down in there. Now I've already pre-test fitted mine so that I know that it fits down in there good. That's something you might want to think about doing. Uh, pre-test fitting your floor to make sure that, you know, and that way if it doesn't really quite come up, you can take your marker and run around the edges on the inside to make sure that it won't show. I'm just taking and rubbing around, rubbing my finger around each tab. Make sure it's good and pressed down. You turn it over, you can see on the bottom there, tabs are all good and pushed down. So, now you can leave that, set that aside to dry or not. I'm going to set it aside to dry for just a second. Um, and we're going to go ahead and put the, actually no I'm not. We're going to go ahead and put the buttresses on it, which is what the directions call for to do next. Uh, and this goes on basically the same way as the other ones. They've got the, uh, the little tabs in there, and then the one tab that goes on the bottom. So, I'm going to go ahead and start with these. Put some glue on these bad boys. Some glue. And just start by getting those lined up. Now, on this one, you can actually put a little pressure on the inside of this one to press up against your tabs. 
unlike the other one where you really couldn't do that. Uh, you can take and just lay your finger in there and put your pressure on there like that if you'd like to. You don't have to. Uh, I like to do that to make sure all my tests, especially when you've got pieces you're attaching to the outside, I like to make sure they're going to get good and pushed in there. Alright, on to the next one. Again, I'm going to pick it up, press in, just lay my finger there basically, and put some light pressure. Sometimes I'll, you know, may kind of get on the corners and squeeze, or put, you know, you want to, you don't want to push too hard because then you can pop your uh, buttress out, squeeze it, crush it. And it just takes a few seconds on these things to hold them together. All right, I guess I could. I'd always zoom in a little bit for you guys. See a little better. Alright. And I basically, you know, I just kind of put a little extra at the top because there's nothing that's the only thing holding it at the top. Okay. Now then, come in here. And I'm, the reason I'm sliding down is I don't want to get glue uh, on the top part. So then you can get it, get your get your piece straightened up, lined up, good. You know, and if you want to set it over like this and push down on the bottom and then push in like this, uh, you can do it that way as well. I kind of like this actually. Now that I've done this like this, I think we'll try the next one that way. Now that's the thing about it, you know, as you put these together, you can come up with different ways to do things. Uh, that actually will work better for you. Uh, not everybody, you know, I keep saying this over and over, not everybody does things the same way, but, you know, that's, that's part of it. You know, somebody may come up with a great idea on how to do something that doesn't really work for you. So, pressure in there. I guess I could have gone on and glued these on off camera, but I like you guys to see the amount of time uh, it goes into actually getting one of these together. Here we can see it again. Make sure the pieces lined up. Don't want the white showing. There we go. Just have to hold it for just a, you know, 15, 20 seconds.